Hello monsters, uh, let's take a look at Chipotle real quick. Uh, I want to show what's taking place in the market today. The stock is under heavy selling pressure. So here, for example, you have the broad market, which is S&P up 8.75. And the S&P is actually trying to break out after, you know, moderate pullback. And, you know, Yellen is obviously giving a boost. But I go to Chipotle and I see a completely opposite story. It's breaking down from a bear flag. Now, there was another downgrade this morning. And this is just the downgrades just keep piling on. The earnings estimates continue to get cut. And as, as earnings gets to estimate, get cut the forward price to earnings multiple ratios continues to contract I mean the new latest according to the latest figures the stock is now trading at 40 times some you know two years out earnings so the fundamentals and the and the valuations makes absolutely no sense the same store sales decline is now 20% I understand that the same store sales decline may moderate to like minus 10% or minus 15% but the reality is that in a restaurant when sales are declining it doesn't matter is 10% or 20% it's just simply not good for a stock that trades a 40, 30 to 40 times forward earnings when earnings estimates are coming down sharply. I can go extensively and talk about what's happening fundamentally, but I think we all understand the story given all the chaotic, uh, you know, uh, everything that has taken place in Chipotle basically in the last three to four months. So I'm going to focus on technicals here and then potential trade idea. So here's what I have. This is the daily chart. See how it came down hard and then it bounced. And, you know, there was some bounced on whatever reason, some short covering and whatnot, but it failed. It, it, made, it made a comeback all the way up to here, and then it failed, and then it started to roll over. And now here's what I'm seeing. As it came down, and let's take a quick, let's take a closer look at this so you can see what I'm seeing. Um, actually, that's not a good one. So, right here. You see how when it fell off from here, that was also sparked by earnings, you know, earnings cuts and, and another analyst downgrade. This came on very high volume. Then it formed a bear flag. Then it fell off again. High volume, high volume, high volume. Then it bounced again, formed a bear flag, and now it's breaking down again. And by the time, the volume may seem light, but we are only halfway through the trading session. By the time the market was closed, this volume are probably going to be this high, like up to here. And so, you know, so the volumes, once again, it's selling off. This is another bear flag bear breakdown right here. To give you another look at this, um, here's, let's just draw a trend line. If I draw a trend line from here to here, that's the perfect trend line that I can draw. And so here's sitting at critical support here. See, bounced here, bounced here, bounced here, and boom, now you have. This is a bear flag breakdown that's taking place on high volume. MACD is coming down sharply. RSI is not oversold yet. RSI is breaking down sharply. You can also call this some sort of head and shoulders top. So here's the head, head, head. And here are the shoulder, uh, you know, sorry, here's the shoulder, shoulder. There's the head formation all over here. And now another, you know, or you can call this a shoulder or shoulder. But now it's breaking down. So where is it going to go next? See right here, these are volume over price supports that I always look at. So here is the volume over price support. And it's right here around 438. See right here? 438, 437, 438 is where the target is. So that's a still about 15 to 20 dollars to the downside if it breaks down over here. But frankly speaking, what is to say that it bounced here and it bounced here and it bounced here that if it falls apart, it's only going to go down by only 10, 15. It's not just going to keep going lower. It may break down here and may keep going and going all the way to retest the 52-week low, which is all the way down to 400 level. I mean, that's another 55 points to the downside. So, I mean, this, this technical picture just looks completely hideous to me when I look at this. And we know fundamentals are complete rack. And so, now, in terms of option activity, there's not much to point out. I mean, I can go and I can talk about a little bit how, you know, if I, uh, if I go over here, uh, there's a little bit of a put buying. Um, you know, in the weekly options, the small contracts, you can see different, you know, they're basically buying, day traders are buying weekly puts uh, in different strikes. There's much more volume on the put side than there is on the call side. Same thing is happening here. I saw one trader go out to next week, actually not next week, right here. The one I saw one trader go out to, this is April expiration, so two and a half weeks out, and they're buying these contracts right here. They bought 400 of these all the way down to 400 strike puts. You know, they're buying for up to a $1.70 or something. 
but this is what I'm looking at. The trade that I ha I was oops, the trade that I was thinking is right here. Let's say you want to take a look at this technical, so you want to bet it's going to break down, and your target is really not more than just a 435 retest, which is right here, the volume of our price support, about 435 to 438 retest. So what you want to do is you want to go out two weeks. So this is April. Let's narrow this a little bit further. Um, you're going to go out. This is a weekly. This is the next week. You want to go out to regular April month right here, and this is what I was looking at. You can buy the uh, the 455. This is regular April month 455, 435. Remember that's the technical target, technical support target, and 425. Uh, oh, sorry, 415. Butterfly spread. So you'll buy the 455, 435, and 415. You know that's a twenty dollar wide. 455, 435. 415 put butterflies butterfly spread that expires uh, at the end of April expiration and you can buy that for four dollars today four dollars to four dollars and twenty cents and because the spreads are pretty wide look at how wide these spreads are you might be able to get it for even less than four dollars so that's a twenty dollar spread that you can buy for four dollars to four dollar fifty cents for a risk to reward ratio of you know almost five to one so you know, you're betting that the stock deviates to 435, you're betting that it happens in the next 17 days, and you're betting your target is right over here, volume over price support. You don't have earnings risk because the earnings are not coming out until April 19. The expiration is on April 15, so the earnings are after April expiration, so you don't have that risk. So that's one of the trade ideas that I'm looking at. Uh, just a quick note, I'm going to have a few more tickers that I'm going to be talking about in separate videos. I don't want to consolidate all of them in one place to just to give you, you know, I would rather have send you different, you know, email, different videos one at a time rather than just make one large video. So I'm going to have more tickers coming up later. But that's it for now. Chipotle, it's heading south. It's breaking down. You can bet it's going to go another 20 points to the downside, may go as low as all the way to 400 strike. That's it.